Hello guys, today is my 31 week pregnancy update. Oh my goodness, the countdown is like seriously freaking me out a bit. So I now officially have eight weeks and six days to go. Well, obviously until my due date, I know that he could be late, he could be early, but yeah, I just feel like now that I'm in that countdown, I feel really like a bit panicky, not because I'm not ready for him to be here, but because I'm loving being pregnant, even though I've had a load of horrible symptoms this week, which I'll talk about in a minute. I'm just loving it, and I think because it's gonna be our last one, and because I'm near the end of the pregnancy, and because I've had so much stress and stuff, I don't really feel like I focused on the pregnancy as much as I could have done. I've written a blog post on it, I wrote it last night, so I'll upload that today or tomorrow or something, so I'll try and link that below here. But yeah, just how like, I'd like to be pregnant forever. And I don't feel like you hear that very often. I feel like most women are like, get this baby out of me. I can't wait to not be pregnant anymore. But it's weird. Like I was saying to Pete, it's like, when you go to the gym and your muscles ache afterwards, you don't mind because it's for a good reason. And I know you think that anyway, when you're pregnant, cause you think oh, it's worth it because I'm gonna have a baby. But I feel like, well, no, it's worth it because I'm pregnant. If someone gave me the chance now to be pregnant for an extra nine months, I would do it. Obviously ask me that in <laughs> August when it's my due date and the baby's still not here and I'll probably say something different, but yeah, that's how I feel at the moment. So this week I I went and got my bloods done, which was fine. I haven't heard back from the doctors, so I'm assuming they're all okay or they haven't arrived, so I should probably check. I had a dentist appointment because I haven't had one for like a year and a half and I've been getting bleeding gums. Um, only like when I brush my teeth and I spit, there's like a little bit, sometimes, not all the time. It's not just been since I've been pregnant, I've had it before. And the dentist said I've got a little bit of tartar build up, which is the beginning of gum disease. Which I always thought gum disease was some like, obviously it is serious, but... She's like, yeah, it's common in pregnancy, so I'm booked in in three weeks time for a clean. To hopefully clear that up, because saying I've got gum disease sounds a bit, I don't know, a bit extreme. <laughs> in terms of how the week's been, it's been really good. I have been really like, not emotional. It's really hard to explain. Like I haven't been low or angry or upset or anything. I've just been a bit blah. Kind of like deflated and I don't know why. There's no reason, no kind of arguments with Pete, nothing in particular with my mum, like nothing. Yeah. He's naked. I'm gonna have to keep stopping Come filming. On. You know when you just feel a little bit like, oh, I can't be bothered now. Um, but Pete's been really good and like run me baths and made me smoothies and like, <laughs> taking the boys out so that I can get a bit of a break and stuff and that's really helped like instantly so I think maybe I've just been feeling a bit like I need a little bit of support and a bit of TLC maybe that's it I don't know yeah it could very well be hormone related because my skin has gotten quite bad I don't know if you can see but I've had like a huge spot come up here um like one on my cheek one down here um which like the hormone kind of areas so yeah it could well just be that I'm having a bit of a hormonal week. But apart from that, it's been really nice. Like the weather's been lovely, which obviously helps so much because I can get out and about with Jasper, get loads of washing done. Um, I've been mega nesting. I went and spent a fortune on cleaning products and like all oh, this new powder that you can put down the toilet and different types of wipes and stuff. So yeah, that's definitely kicked in more than usual. But then I have been struggling with the heat, like massively struggling. <laughs> Nighttime, I've not been sleeping very well. The last two nights, I probably haven't gone off till about one, and then Jasper's come in the last two nights in a row, and I've ended up going and staying in the spare room, just because I'm so uncomfortable and so hot. You got pants! Um, and I'll get to a point where I'm like, oh my god, I'm so hot, I'm gonna have to get up in like a few hours, and all of a sudden the baby will wake up and start moving, and then heartburn will kick in, and then restless legs will kick in. So yeah, sleep for me has not been good with this heat. So symptoms wise, heartburn has been quite bad. Uh, it's been a lot more at night now when I lay down, so I can kind of guess when it's gonna be. Um, I've also had that really full feeling where it feels like I've just eaten like a huge roast or a cooked breakfast and if I bent over, I would just throw up. Restless legs at night have been awful. It's only my left leg though. No matter how I lay, it's always just the left leg. And I've been feeling like I'm gonna get cramps. Like, you know, anything, oh God, if I stretch my leg, I'm gonna get a cramp, but I haven't actually had them this week. Although my shins have been hurting quite a lot. And I saw Sarah from This Mum Alive in her pregnancy update, she mentioned that she was getting shin cramps and that a few people had said, maybe it's just shin splints. And she was like, no, it's different. And I've started having it and it is different. <laughs> SBD has been killer. I did receive the Upsy Belly Belly Bandit, which I've been wearing and it has been working like on a day-to-day -day basis. I just wear it when I'm out and about and walking around. But as soon as I lay down or sit down, I just can't get up. It hurts so much. Um, it does tend to be, and you probably don't want to know this, after couple time, 
um, yoga, and, and when I've been sleeping, that kind of tends to be the times when it hurts the most. That has gotten quite bad, but the Upsy Belly does really, really work. I will do like a review of it and talk to you more about it once I've used it for a bit longer. But walking around with it is great. It's just when I'm sitting in the car, when I'm on the sofa, um, once I've been laying down in bed, when I then stand up, it's like killer. And yeah, once I've done yoga and the deed. Yoga's the one that I'm not willing to stop. <laughs> the other one, I'm more than happy to stop for now. Sciatica as well has probably been worse than my SPD to the point of it feels kind of like on every step someone is kicking my bum cheeks. Like really, really hurts. The other day I was sat in Jasper's room while he fell asleep and it hurt so much sitting down that I lay down and as soon as I lay down I just thought I'm not getting up again and I had to call Pete and get him to come and help me up because it just hurts so much. Like I said, I've been getting really, really hot. That's obviously the weather, but I think it's probably a bit of hormones as well, the fact that I'm so heavy. Don't know if I've got a lot of water retention because I haven't put on any weight anywhere else. Although, that's another symptom. Um, sometimes I feel like my fingers and my feet are a bit pins and needlesy, as if they're gonna swell, but they haven't yet. Like, my rings are still fine. Oh my God, saying that's a bit tight to get off. <laughs> But I'm prepared that I'm probably going to have to take my rings off at some point, especially because it's a summer pregnancy. Um, but yeah, I do every so often. I'm like, oh god, I feel like I'm going to swell up, and then I don't. But yeah, who knows? That might happen. So on to baby. He is moving so much, like just all day, every day. It's to the point now where you can just see the rolls. I can feel like every movement, and I kind of feel like I'm not huge. I don't have a really big bump. I'm measuring at 20 seven weeks so I'm just putting Jasper's pajamas on because he wants to wear Thomas pajamas now <laughs> yeah every single movement really really hurts like I don't know I, I, I don't know if it's if it kind of feels like it's constantly like his elbow like digging into me and it feels like my muscles and my skin is so stretched like I just don't know how it's gonna stretch for another eight nine weeks okay so baby boy is 16.18 inches in length and 3.31 pounds in weight it says that his fat's continuing to accumulate under the skin so he's getting nice and plump and not as like skinny is that he can gain as much as half a pound a week from now until birth so could potentially be another like four pounds <laughs> before he's here maybe even more if he's late it says the lanugo body hair is continuing to shed although if he was born prematurely he'd still have some of it on his body so even though his lungs are the last organ to develop he's still practicing breathing i think 40 percent yeah 40 percent of the time which is really cute uh, bones are busy hardening and preparing to support baby after birth. Adrenal glands that produce the hormone steroids have doubled in size in the last 10 weeks. So I'm imagining some like bodybuilder baby. <laughs> and that's about it for him. So I'll show you my bump now. I have to excuse my underwear. Um, but yeah, this is my bump. I feel like my stomach's quite veiny at the moment. Um, I don't know if it's much bigger than the last time. I have taken some pictures which will be on my 31 week pregnancy update. So. You can see them there, but yeah, it's still quite a neat bump, still all out in front, from behind, I don't look pregnant, it's just as soon as I turn around, it's like, bam, and it hits you, um, haven't put on weight anywhere else, and that's it, oh, stretch marks, I've got a few more stretch marks on my upper thighs, kind of just the sides of my bum, and I guess that's just because I haven't, like, been squatting, and I kind of just let it get a bit like jelly. So that's something that I really need to work on. I can start working on it now and then once I've had the baby. So that's it, sorry if it's been a bit jumbled because I've had to sort out this one. I will see you guys for my 32 week pregnancy update. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Comment below and subscribe if you haven't already. Bye.